I'm nearly at the end of charging up all of the uh, cells now. It's taking me quite some time. But this is what 95% of them look like. There's still about, uh, about 20 I think I've yet to go through, but this is most of them. I think there's around about 250 here, give or take. So I wanted really to show you the idea um, of buying used laptop battery cells and whether or not it's a good one and what the sort of loss rate you can expect is. So these here are the good cells that I've got and they, uh, they range from the, the highest here towards the lowest acceptable in my opinion over there. So these are arranged in rows according to their sort of size. So we've got um, 2300s there, 22s and 21s, 20s, 19s, got a lot of those. 18s, 17s, got a lot of those. 16s, 15s, 14s there, 13s, quite a few of those. And then the end ones here, so I've got 12s, 11s and 10s, so just an amp basically for these. Um, this section here at the end, um, unlikely to make it into the bike unless I desperately need it really, um, but they're probably worth saving if they're an amp or slightly over per cell, not too bad. And there is around about um, 158 to 60, I think it was, I counted in this lot here. So those are decent, but look how many were not decent. And as I said, I've still got about 10 or 20 to go. Uh, and, and I can guarantee, I'm sure that some of those will also be not decent. There's a lot here, and this, this amount here is around about 125, I think I counted it at. Um, that's quite huge, and that's only if you also consider that these are in the good pile, the sort of the, the 1 amp 1.1 and 1.2s at the corner there. If you consider them to be bad, put them in this pile, um, it's around about 50% of all the ones that I bought, all these bat laptop battery packs are good and 50% are bad. That's not great, is it? Um, so you may want to have a careful think about that if you want to make an e-bike or any kind of large battery in the same way. There's fairly high loss rate. Now I've organized these very roughly um, going the other way, which is not very helpful. So these are all 900, so not too bad. And then these are sevens and eights, fives and sixes. And then this is the pile which um, are obviously very low. These are anything less than 500 or so. Some of them are much lower. You can see some of the numbers there, just to give you an idea. I mean, that one there, for example, 106. And then these are the really pathetic ones. We've got ones that are, for the most part, less than 100. It's hilariously bad. I always thought that the, um, I'd considered the loss rate uh, would be for cells that are broken, you know, corroded, had no volts and co could not be recovered. Ones that have been dropped in water, the battery packs, things like that. And I actually only found about four of those. Surprisingly, by far the most... Uh, failed cells came from just or, or ones that I won't be using came from just ones that are just too low simply too low usable cells in theory but just too low no good for a, a bike that I'm going to be making so the only um, I suppose the only thing to say is it's quite a high loss rate here they are cheap to buy these used laptop battery packs and you see job lots of them on eBay and you can get quite a lot of good ones out of it I'm sure this should be enough for me to make a decent pack out of and this whole lot only cost around about I think it was up to a hundred pounds so not too much money but for around about similar money you could probably buy some new um, low quality cells so some new laptop cells from eBay 12 packs of 12 um, or a battery, a battery pack with 12 cells in them I should say for probably about a pound per cell that would have been in my next route buy one of those test the cells in it because they'll be new even though they'll be a pattern part quality they'll be better than these probably um, so for similar money you could get better better cells so anyway, just a quick video showing you that I'm near the end of the process and these are the good and these are the bad and there's not a lot of difference in, uh, in total numbers between them.